All right. Well, you can narrate. Okay, so this is Jeff and Christy Eubanks. Welcome to Eubanks Family Homestead. And there's nothing like uh, catching a swarm in your own bee yard. So we've had to do this for about two or three years in a row. And we were trying to eliminate that this year by being proactive and doing some um, uh, double screen bottom board splits and things of that nature and just trying to stay on top of the bee so that we would not have a swarm. But it looks like that we've got one. Fortunately, it's in our own bee yard. It's not too high. They seem to always swarm to this tree. They've been much, much higher. So hopefully, oh, this one will be a easy, an easy catch. So, See how this goes. I think we're about ready. I think we're about out of bee equipment too for all these swarms that we're having, but um, we were able to pull some things together and I think we've got a little nuke down there and Jeff pulled a frame out of one of the hives that had some uh, Maybe some larvae or eggs on it. Jeff, what did the frame have on it? Eggs, larvae, and brood. Eggs, larvae, and brood. So um, then we'll add some things later. So we're going to see uh, see how this goes. Um, do you need my help over there? I don't think so right now. Okay. Uh, bring me that box that's on the ground right there, please. So as you can see, I'm the Vanna White of the bee yard. You can go get a picture of that. There's some bees on there. This is what we're gonna put in there. I don't know if you, you can see it. I've kind of got the camera angled more up there, but there's some there's some nectar in here, larvae, brood, eggs, all that good stuff. So, I don't know if you can see it. Sorry. Alright, what do I need to do? Uh, stand back and watch, I guess. Well, do you need me to hold the ladder? No. I want to see if they'll do some type of uh, transfer. So what he's trying to do is to see if there will be some type of transfer, if the bees will just come off the, maybe the branch onto the frame that he has up there. If not, then he'll probably have to shake them in down or shake them down into that box up there. Fortunately, it's not raining today. We've had two days of torrential downpours, storms, tornado watches, 
and so uh, we've had a, a nice clear day today so it is a little windy because it's always windy here on the homestead um, but fortunately no rain It's going to come to, towards you more, so maybe you might want to move that box a little bit towards you. See, see how big that branch is? Yeah. It's not going to spring like... You're thinking they're on this one? Yeah. They're on this one as well. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying if when it goes down, it's going to go a little more towards Back, you. Yeah, yeah, you. I would say So if you pull it down, they're going to, they're going to miss the, the box, the nuke. Down here on it, start fanning. do that. You can get them in your hand. Oh, do they just come apart? Yeah. And my bee jacket is coming apart as well. Yeah. We need to get a new one. What if you cut that smaller branch? up there and just kind of lay it down into that box. It's right here, right where it don't need to be as usual. Yes, that's what I'm going to try to do. Sorry, folks, we had to take a break. We had a wardrobe mishap, and uh, Jeff's bee jacket bit the dust. So he's got mine on, and 
I've just got a veil and gloves on, so I'm not gonna do a whole lot of bee wrangling today. Seems to be working pretty good. Just trying to be careful because if the queen is in there, we definitely don't want to. Um, damage her in any way. All over that frame of brood, that's for sure. Well, that's good. You go find my bee brush over there. I had it at that other hive where I got this frame from. there it may I may have put it back in my bead bucket I'm not sure yep there it is I know people say bees don't like bee brushes, but I don't like collecting my own forms.
It looks like they're going down into yeah. the box. Please be careful. You're I am moving very, very slowly. Yeah, they're moving into the box. So I, I was brushing them off the, the limb. I was brushing them off the limb to try to get them to go in that little nook box. Looks like it worked. They're not going back to the limb at least. You wanna use a brush? No, they're gone. Okay, so I don't know if you can see or not, but the bees are not on, no longer on the limb of the tree. They're on and around my nook box, nucleus box. So now I'm gonna attempt to go up there and take that thing off and bring it down here and set it on the tailgate of my truck. Without spilling the bees. these that has worked much better than I ever envisioned it working <laughs> didn't have no idea they'd go in there that easily and that cleanly so now to move them from this box into a tin frame Here's our Mark Queen. What? Right there. Oh, I see her, but I don't. Yep, see? <laughs> All right, Miss Queen. You old heifer. We don't know what hive they came out of, though, so. Well, I have her marked. There she is. Boy, she's pretty. Go 
going down in there, girl. Of course not, she don't want to. She either come out of one of those two hives or this big hive right here. The one that you just added all those? Yeah, probably that one right there. Well, the good thing is it was in our own bee yard and it was an easy catch. Yeah. Low branch. I just get them in the hive, man. They're following her back in there. I know it. We can get her out. I thought I saw her. I thought I saw her down in that corner. Down in the very bottom on yeah. the right. On my right. upside down over there on top of that box. You got all that pine bark in there. What you sting me? back a little bit because I don't have a jacket on. Okay, Thank you. Yeah, they didn't like that too well. Yeah, they didn't. But if she's in the box... I love to watch them fan. Well, they're all fanning in there. There's one with pollen on his legs. Yeah, I believe she went in there because. What if we got the brush and tried to brush them out of the box? Nothing. 
Looks like the drones in there. I'm wanting a flat path in this other half. Suckers aren't playing. And that does not hurt the bees, so. Only if you catch them between the frames when you're doing that. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of kills them. Good thing I picked up two boxes at Barnyard Bees the other day. <laughs> Okay. Well, this one hasn't even been painted yet. Yeah. I just put this together today when I saw I had another swarm. I swear. I'm going to go on in. If she's, well, she's in there, so they're going to go on in. somewhere they don't have a lot of uh, comb I've used up all my drone drone comb All right, so here we go. Swarm apprehended. Um, I had a wardrobe malfunction with my bee suit. Bee suit built in dust, had put on my brides. I'm a little bit bigger than her. It's a tug, snug fit. So uh, I'm gonna pop this uh, inner cover on there and put a lid on this thing, call it a day. Pretty sure it come out of that big hive right there that I was really trying to build up to, to get honey out of. Um, now, some of you are gonna say, well, no wonder you only had one brood chamber on it. Well, I've run single brood chambers before and not had any problems. Uh, I even took bees, I took frames that's in that box, this box, and that box out there making splits. So I did my my due diligence to try to, you know, break it down to give them room. But uh, anyway, here we are. So uh, I'm hungry, I'm tired, and I'm a little bit irritated. Because so what like, else is new? Because like I said, I was <laughs> I was trying to build that hive up because I want to, and I mean, that thing was full of bees. And uh, I, I don't, I'm positive it didn't come from those two small ones. I'm sure it comes from here. So anyway, uh, like it, subscribe it. You know the drill. Uh, Eubanks Family Homestead, or Hobby Homestead and bee wrangling is a way of life. <laughs>